And there is Cairo Gum. When Pakistan put his Lord being on the ground and his high being in the sky to eat Krishna and swallowed him, then the cowboys cried, Kayore, Kayore, Krishna has been eaten. So where Krishna dispelled Pakistan, that is called Kanirva. There is also the Kund, and in that forest, Bhagurva Goswami and Sri Loganath Goswami performed bhajan there for some time. We did not visit there, but on the way we passed Badova Gama. There is the village where Bhadrasaki took birth. Nearby is also Bijwadi Gama. When Akura took Sri Krishna Balaram towards Mathura, then the, some, the gopis tried to stop the way. Some took the reins of the horses, others took his, they tried to block the way. But when Akura dodged the gopis, then the gopis remained there as long as they could see the dust. And when the dust fell on the ground and Krishna had not returned, they fell on the ground like streaks of lightning. Therefore they called Bidwani. <coughs> there was also Si, another village called Sigaon. There Krishna promised, I will Sigri Vapasanga. I will quick, quickly come back. Quickly make Sigri and from that Sigri came the village Si. Also, Krishna promised, I will count the day after tomorrow, Pasuanga. Therefore, from Pasu count, Pasu Gaon. There in Ajadal Gaon is the birthplace of Vishakadevi. And in Korela Gaon, there is the place, birthplace of Lalita Devi. After she went to Buja Gaon in Vashana and performed many pastimes there. There is Saha Gaon, the place of Upananda. That is the big elder brother of Sridanda Baba and Krishna's uncle. Upananda's son is named Subhadra and he is very dear to Krishna and he protects Krishna. When Madhya Sona sends Krishna cow grazing, she always puts his hand in the hand of his cousin Subhadra. Subhadra's wife is Kundalata and she is very expert and clever at arranging the meetings of Sridanda and Krishna. के बाद में उनकी यात्रा को कुल कर में गए जावट था तो जावट Pastimes 
especially from Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, that he has revealed how Sri Krishna so many times is uh, coming there to the house of Jatila and making his attempt to meet with Srimati Radhika. So that place, Jabat Brahm, there, it is named after uh, the tree, Jabat. There is one tree there, uh, which is a very famous tree that Sri Krishna himself would try to climb into that tree when he could not meet with Srimati Radhika. Sometimes Jatila and Putila, uh, they would be making so many obstacles for Srimati Radhika to leave the house. Despite all the attempts of her sakis and all of her duties, it was somehow or other impossible for her to leave the house. So one time Sri Krishna came there and he climbed up into this tree and he was making the sound of a cuckoo bird, a cuckoo bird, and he was going woohoo, woohoo, in a very sweet voice and very a special way. So even Jatila and Kutila, they heard the sound of Krishna making this, uh, this sound like a, like a cuckoo bird, and they thought, what an extraordinary cuckoo. We've never heard this sound before. So uh, then even Srimati Radhika and the Sakis, they were also hearing. And then uh, Jatila and Kutila, they said, oh, they said to Srimati Radhika, oh, we have never heard such an extraordinary bird. Uh, and Radhika and the Sakis, they also said, yes, we have also never heard. We want, to, we want to go and see this bird. So by such a trick, they were able to get the permission of Jatila and go out of the house and meet with Sri Krishna. So this place also, Jyavak Ram, is named after Jyavak. Jyavak means a reddish, uh, like a paste which was used to apply to Srimati Radhika's lotus feet, like a red lac. So Sri Krishna sometimes used to take this red lac and to smear it on his head, on his chest, everywhere. So to, for the remembrance of Srimati Radhika, therefore this gram is called Yavat Gram. So sometimes Sri Krishna was coming there, but it was very impossible to come because Srimati Radhika was, had, had uh, developed man so intensely, so strong, that it was impossible for Krishna to break her mind. So one time, Sri Krishna, uh, Sri Krishna came there, but he failed in his attempt to break the mind of Srimati Radhika, and then he was going away from there. And then he met Vishaka Devi. And Vishaka Devi told to him, Oh, you should disguise yourself as a student, and you should go there begging like alms. So Sri Krishna, he took on this disguise, and when Sri Krishna takes on any disguise, it's impossible for anyone to tell. He's the most expert in all arts. So when he wants to disguise himself, no one can tell who he is actually. So then Sri Krishna put on this dress of a young student. He had a, a, a danda in one hand and a begging bowl. He had a brahmin thread across his chest. He had one book underneath his arm. And he came there with wooden shoes. Now he came very early in the morning time to the house of Jatila. And he was calling out for alms. And he was calling out the names of the Lord. Alak, alak, what is it? Alak Niranjan, Alak Niranjan. And then, when uh, Jatila and Kutila heard the calling of this young Brahmin student, they saw him there. But they were, it was very early in the morning, and they were making cow dung patties. So they were not, they had not yet bathed, and they were not clean. So the custom is, before you will give any donation, any alms to any beggar who comes to the door, or especially a Brahmin beggar, you must be in clean condition. So they went and they asked Srimati Radhika that she would please go there and she would accept, uh, give alms to this young Brahmin student boy. But Srimati Radhika refused. She said that I will not go in front of anyone except my husband. So then Jatila and Kutila, they were defeated and they were thinking, oh no, what will become of us? And then the student, Sri Krishna himself, began to tell, oh, I cannot stay here very long. I can only wait as long as it takes to milk a cow. So then Jatila became very worried, and she thought, oh, if we do not give alms to this student boy, and he goes away without receiving alms, our family may be cursed, 
and someone may die, or our cows may die in our family. So now, Jatila came into the, into the room of Shimati Radhika again, and very sweetly, she tried to convince her and explain to her, please, please go there and give some alms. So finally, Shimati Radhika agreed. And Shimati Radhika took some, like, atta flour, um, uh, wheat flour for making chapatis, and dal, and various other provisions like sabjis, and she put it in a big basket. And now she put a veil. Not cooked. Not cooked, yes, it was not cooked. These were all raw items. So she put it in a basket, and now she put her veil over her head, and she went to the door with her sakis, Lalita Vishaka, and the other sakis all surrounding her. Now she came to the doorway there, and she began to offer these alms to the student boy. So then Sri Krishna, disguised as a student, said, Oh, I don't have any uh, need for these kind of alms from you. What I want from you, it will be very valuable to me if you donate to me in my wedding bowl, your man. So then at that moment, Shimati Radhika, she understood who is this person. And she opened up her veil very slightly, smiling at him, looking at him. Then she took all the contents of her basket and she dumped it on the head of Sri Krishna. And now Sri Krishna became very happy and he went away from that place realizing that he had succeeded in breaking the man of Shivati Radhika. So many beautiful, joyful pastimes like this. They went 
to the house of Kundalata. And there, yeah, the, the name of the uh, sister was Vidyavali, but of course this was Sri Krishna himself, disguised as the sister. Uh, and then, so, the Vidyavali, she uh, was approached by Jyotila and Lalita and Vishaka to please come and take away the poison from Srimati Radhika. And initially, Vidyavali was saying, no, no, I cannot possibly come to a house like this. I'm not just some wandering person that goes from house to house. And eventually, Jyotila had to beg very much that uh, Vidyavali would come and take away this poison from Krishna and from Srimati Radhika. So, then Vidyavali, she went to the house of Jyotila to take away the poison from uh, Srimati Radhika. And then she was uh, in the room with all the Sakis and she began to uh, gradually massage the, the body of Srimati Radhika. And when she, when Vidyavali, who was Krishna, came to the breast of Srimati Radhika, he said, oh now the poison has become very strong. I have to call that snake from Kailash and uh, demand that he come and take away this poison. So, but I have to be alone with Srimati Radhika. So then Jyotila and uh, Gautila, they had to leave the room outside and Krishna, he bolted the door, Vidyavali bolted the door. And then uh, Krishna, after some hours, he called that snake from Kailash and he called very loudly, Oh you snake, you come from Kailash, why did you bite Srimati Radhika? And that snake, he answered, he said, actually I meant to bite Abhimanyu, but I couldn't find Abhimanyu, so I bit Radhika instead because I wanted to punish Jyotila for stopping Radha, Srimati Radhika, going to the house of Mother Yashoda to cook for Krishna. Because uh, Lord Shiva himself had benedicted Radharani with this blessing that her cooking would uh, nourish Krishna. So then the, the snake uh, was there and, and Krishna or Vidyavali was uh, saying to the snake, Oh, but uh, how, how will we take this snake poison away from Shimati Radhika? And then uh, Jyotila and Kotila, they were shouting from the door, Outside, oh no, we will we will allow Radharani, Shimati Radharani, to go and cook for Mati Yashoda. We will will not stop her again. And the snake, he became satisfied with that, and he left, and he took that poison with him. Yes. So Krishna was imitating that snake. So Jyotila and Kotila they became very afraid when they thought that the snake was coming to. Uh, to, to bite. And then uh, eventually Jyotila and Kotila they came into the room and uh, Radharani, Shimati Radharani, she was completely cured and satisfied and then they wanted to reward Vidyavali. So uh, they, they wanted to give her new cloths etc. And then Jyotila she was thinking that perhaps that poison would come back again in the evening. And that uh, Vidyavali, she should stay the night with uh, Shimati Radharani in the same room just in case that snake poison came back. So in this way, these pastimes in Javad, which are relating to Jyotila and Kotila, we heard today from uh, Puttavad Vikanis Maharaj, how uh, much Jyotila and Kotila are actually acting within the pastimes of Krishna and should not be just seen as some mundane personalities. But they're very important ingredients in the whole uh, arrangement of the rasa between Radha and Krishna. So there are so many pastimes in Java.
And this is one last time. So in Kovil Pond, Krishna used to come to meet his friend Radhika, but in Javad, in Jatla and Kutla, they always provide so many ways. So Krishna took a test how to cross with Radhika. So Krishna became a very wonderful cuckoo bird and climbing the tree, he started to make sweet sound like cuckoo bird, cool, cool, cool like this. And Jatla and Kutla, the other Kong, who is so wonderfully calling like this, they cannot they see so very wonderfully, never saw like this. They became attracted to that bird like this, and they everybody come out. And also, in that, beautifully, the meeting of Radha and Krishna happened there. Also, in this Kokilbhan, another pastime is to tell Koshi. 
one Krishna came in the night time and into Radhika and called, locked the door. So Radhika was in Man. So Krishna called. So not Radhika asked, who is he? Who is this? Who are you? Then Krishna told, I am Ghanasya and Krishna. So Radhika changed the meaning and took it. Krishna means a Krishna black snake. Oh, no need a black snake. You should go away because it's very, very poisonous. You bite me and the poison will not go easily. Then Krishna again knocked and Radhika asked, Who is he? Who are you? Then Krishna told, I am Ghanasyam. Radhika changed the meaning of Ghanasyam. Ghanasyam means a black cloud. Oh, no need here, no need rain. You should go on rain somewhere else. Then again, Radhika told Koshi, and Krishna told, I am Hari. Radhika told the meaning of Hari means monkey. So there is no need of monkey here, you should go to the forest. Like in so many ways, ah, Krishna is calling to that place also became Koshi. These are the pastimes in Gopira. Oh. So, Krishna told me, Pathan, Shorty of Kari Mehta. यहाँ पर बैठक हुआ हो करके नंद जो पानंद और कृष्ण के विषय में चर्चा करते हैं चरण पहाड़ी एक दिन कृष्ण ने बंसी यहाँ पर बजाई और जितने पशु मृग हरिण ऊंट यहाँ तक की वो सब वहाँ पर आ, आ गए आने का चिन्ह तो है कृष्ण की तरफ में जहाँ पर कृष्ण का चरण चिन्ह है तो जाने का नहीं आने के समय में तो जब बंसी बजाई तो पिघल गया और थोड़ी देर के बाद में जब कृष्ण की बंसी बंद हो तो पत्थर फिर सूखे बन गए इसलिए जाने का नहीं है उसमें हिरणों का चिन्ह है गायों का चिन्ह है कृष्ण का चिन्ह है बलदेव जी का है और पासी में चरण पहाड़ी चरण पहाड़ी उसको और क्या कहते हैं चरण पहाड़ी शेर साइड की है वहां पर गिरा हुई है और पासी में कोसी कोसी बंद है उसको कुशा स्थली कहते हैं कुशा स्थली में कृष्ण नंद बाबा इत्यादि को द्वारका का दर्शन कराया था और वहीं पर एक समय राधा जी अपनी कुछ में थी या अपने घर में वहां पर थी तो कृष्ण आए तो उन्होंने दरवाजा खटखटाया तो राधा जी ने कहा जी कुआसी तुम कौन हो तो कृष्ण ने कहा जी कृष्ण हो ओ कृष्ण मैंने काला सर यहाँ पर काला सर पर यहाँ पर डसते का यहाँ से भागू भागू जल्दी भाग जाओ कृष्ण ने कहा जी मैं घनश्याम हूँ ओ घनश्याम तो यहाँ पर मेघ तुम हो यहाँ पर वर्षा की जरूरत है बरसाओ मत हमारा यहाँ आंगन गीला हो जाएगा दूसरे वन जंगल में जाओ खेती में जाओ वहां पर बरसो अरे न मैं चक्री हूँ ओ चक्री और चक्री मैंने होता है कि बाहर बर्तन बनाता है तो यहाँ पर शादी विवाह नहीं है यहाँ पर शादी भी बाहर रहा है वहाँ पर जाऊँ वहाँ पर पत्थर ले जाओ हमारे यहाँ उन्होंने कहा अरे मैं श्री हरि हूँ तभी मैंने बंदर और सिंह होता है उन्होंने कहा जैसे यहाँ पर बंदर और सिंह की जरूरत नहीं है बंदर नोच नोच लेगा कहीं और सिंह कहीं मार डालेगा इसलिए बन में जाओ यहाँ रहने के लिए रूप गोस्वामी कहते हैं ये गीता यहाँ पर हुई वे राधा कृष्ण हम पर इस तरह से कोशी इत्यादि स्थान में हो करके चार पहाड़ी हो करके और फिर वहां से दौड़ते वहां के कदम में थोड़ा सा इसका
और उसका लक्षण बढ़ना शुभ तो सप्तों के शरीर साधना प्रेम सुख जान सामने बात पृथ्वी की तमाम से नकी दशाओं का और यदि किसी को रति हो जाए या भाव हो जाए तो साधकों को जागृति साधकों को कृष्ण के रूप शब्द स्पर्श गंध और रस इन पांच प्रकार के विषयों का मानव साक्षात रूप से आस्वाद कृष्ण कृष्ण के रूप कृष्ण श्यामले रंग के हैं कृष्ण आपके अंग की श्यामलता अधर और नेत्र इत्यादि अंगों की अरुणिता मन का हास्य की सुप्रता वसन कुशन की वसन की छटा वो मानव सक्षात रूप में अनुभव करता है वो साधन यात्रा जिससे उसका मंच और रूप हो जाता है नेत्रों से अभिरंग और सुधारा प्रवाहित होने लगती है जिससे साइन अभिषिक्त हो जाता है जागृती साधक कृष्ण की मधुर मुरली ध्वनि नुपुर और कांची इत्यादि झंकार की ध्वनि मधुर कंठ ध्वनि और उनका आदेश सुनने के लिए कानों को इधर उधर करता रहता है मानो कृष्ण बंसी बजा रहे हैं सुनने जा रहा है वो जा रहे हैं उनके चरणों का नुपुर बज रहा है उनका आदेश सुनने के लिए जा रहे हैं आप उनसे आदेश करें कान को इधर करता है कभी कभी कृष्ण के चरण कमलों का कोमल स्पर्श अनुभव का रोमांचित हो जाता है उनके हाथों का स्पर्श पा करके एकदम रोमांचित हो जाता है अब कृष्ण को पाया तब कृष्ण को पाया इस प्रकार उसकी स्थिति हो जाती है अब आने वाला है अब अब कृष्ण मिलेंगे या रति अवस्था परमानंद की अवस्था है रूप को शामिल करते हैं रति का आनंद रूप के ऊपर रति सक्षात आनंद स्वरूप है रतिमान जिसको रति हो गई है वो साधक कृष्ण की स्पूर्ति पाप प्राप्त कर अपार आनंद का अनुभव करता है कभी कभी मधुर माधुर आस्वादन में मस्त हो जाता है और कभी कृष्ण की स्पूर्ति में अत्यंत खिन्न होकर के इधर उधर होने लगता है वो चिप हो जाता है इस प्रकार अंगों में कभी हर्ष आनंद कभी विषाद इत्यादि नाना प्रकार के संचारी भाव निर्भेद विषाद श्रम मत गर्भ शंका त्रास आवेद उन्माद अपस्मृति ज्ञाति पूर्ण मृत्यु आलस्य जाट क्रीडा अवहिता स्मृति विकर्क चिंता मृत्यु प्रीति हर्ष आदि ये तैतीस संचारी भाव उसके अंगों में देखे जाते हैं इस रति की अवस्था में ही भक्त साधक काम लगता है ऐसी रति की अवस्था में कोई पहुंच जाने पर उसको साधक कहते हैं साधक भक्त का लक्षण क्या है देखते हैं उत्पन्न रता या सम्यक नैतिकनम अनुपादक कृष्ण साक्षात तथा असौ योग्या साधका जिस भक्तों में कृष्ण रति का आविर्भाव तो हुआ है रति उत्पन्न उसके हृदय में हो गई है किंतु उसके विघ्न भी संपूर्ण रूप से दूर नहीं हुए हैं ऐसे को साधक कहा जाता रति उत्पन्न हो गई किंतु उसके विघ्न कुछ कुछ अवशिष्ट हैं और उपाग विघ्न और उपाग अभी विघ्न नहीं दूर हुए हैं दृष्टान बुद्धिमान भगवान की वार्ता नदी से उत्पन्न अस्त्रों से अभिषिक्त होने पर भी दामनल की प्रतिप्त शिखा वर्तमान यह चिंता मत करो क्योंकि तुम्हारे अंगों में प्रचुर रोमांच और मच्छरियों जैसा नृत्य देखा जा रहा है ऐसा लगता है कि सीखनी तुम्हारे हृदय आकाश में अमृत स्पिहा का नाश करने वाले कृपा दृष्टि युक्त कृष्ण का उदय हो पा अब अब मिले कृष्ण तब मिले 
कभी कभी रूप का आभास भी मिल जाता है ऐसे मालूम है कि कृष्ण को देखा उनको सुना उनको स्पर्श किया उनकी मत को मुझे सुन पड़ी अर्थात भगवत वार्ता स्नान करने से जब अश्रु प्रवाह निरंतर बनने लगता है तो संसार बंधन के संबंध में चिंता करने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं है क्योंकि अब तो श्री श्री कृष्ण की कृपा अब होने वाली है ये रूप को स्नानी करते हैं साथ रति की इस दशा में हरि कथा का आस्वादन अमृत की भांति लगता है और दूसरी कामनाएं हृदय में नहीं रहती So the Jati relics, the Jati, Jata Rati Sarak is described here. The Sarak in whom Rati or Ra Bhakti has arisen. At this stage, the Sarak becomes qualified to experience the form of Krishna, the fragrance of his body, the sound of his voice, etc., the touch of his hand, and the fragrance coming from his body. Krishna's form is very darkish and very attractive. His eyes are slightly reddish and his ornaments are shining and very attractive. At this stage, the Salak directly realizes the beauty of Krishna's form and in happiness he weeps as if he is giving himself an Abhishek. Then he hears the sound of Krishna's flutes or the sound of Krishna's ankle bells as he moves here and there. And he cocks his ears very eagerly to hear that Krishna may give him some instruction. He became, when touched by the hand of Sri Krishna, his, all the hairs of his body stand on end. And he thinks, now I will get Krishna. Now I will get Krishna. Sri Rupa Goswami described that this Bhav Bhakti or Rati is comprised of complete happiness. And here he gets a spurti or momentary vision within the heart of Sri Krishna himself. And getting that vision, he becomes completely absorbed in the sweetness of Krishna's form, touch, fragrance, etc. And sometimes when he cannot have spurti of all of this, then he laments bitterly in separation and weeps. At that time, the 33 Sanchari Bhavs, which are temporary emotions which well, like waves upon the ocean of the sky bar contained within the heart of the Sarak, like lamentation, happiness, joy, they rise like waves. Therefore, what is a Sarak? Actually, someone in whom this Bhav Bhakti has awoken, he is a Sarak. Therefore, Sri Rupa Swami has given the example Bilba Mangala Adayama. Who is a Sarak? An example of a Sarak is Sri Bilba Mangal Thakur. A sadhak is that devotee in whom Bhav Bhakti has awoken. But still, even though he is qualified for the darshan of Krishna, some obstacles remain in his heart. So, at that time, the sadhak is decorated with the astasattvic bhavs, the eight symptoms of perfection. And he is comforted, the devotee saying, Krishna is very kind. O devotee, very soon he will appear within the sky of your heart. So, the devotee becomes so much happy in experiencing the beauty of Krishna's form, the touch of his cool, soft hand, the beautiful sound of his voice, the fragrance of his body, etc. The devotee even has no time to wonder, will I get liberation? How I can be free from this world? At that time, Harikata is like complete ne nectar. And there is no even there is no touch of material desire within the heart. Udarn Deko Jatrati Atato Rati Upan no Ive Kinto Babi Bigna Tun Nayi Kase Marat Parab Jatrati Hogayate Kinto Kucha Bigna Tha. उसी बिगने के कारण ही एक हिरण से शुरू करके आशक्त होकर के तीन जन्म नष्ट हो गए। 
या विकलन नष्ट होने पर रति और प्रौढ़ हो करके परिपक्व हो करके प्रेम हो जाए ये विघ्न अभी बढ़ता है वहां से फिर किसी कारण से यहाँ तक कि अपराध भी हो सकता है किसी कारण से अपराध होने की संभावना नहीं है तो भी अपराध भी हो यह रति जगत में बहुत दूर का है इसको साधारण लोग नहीं समझ सकते वो लोग समझे कि पागल है मूर्ख है क्या है और जो भक्ति तत्व वित्त है वो केवल समझेंगे ये रति कौन सा An example of a sala in whom Rati or Bhavati has appeared, but still there remains a trace of some obstacles. An excellent example is Bharat Maharaj. Even though Rati had awoken within his heart, because of the presence of some slight obstacle, he became attracted to a deer and lost three lifetimes. But when that Rati matures into Prem, there is no touch of obstacles remaining in the heart. In Rati, <coughs> it may even be that someone may commit an offence and then he will fall down. But this Rati is so extremely rare in this world. And ordinary persons will think the person who has achieved Rati is very foolish or he is mad. But only someone who completely understands the Tattva of Bhakti, then they will understand the actions that are devoted to the stage of Rati. Well, सुबह में हरी कथा होगी और परम खुद के बाद भक्ति प्रमोद पूरी को स्वामी महाराज जी का अभिभावना तिरुभाव तिरुभाव सुखी लगी उनके चरणों में हम लोग पूछ पाए तुम्हारो दे Hare Krishna, as you have heard, the Gaur Purnima is coming very soon, so devotees will go for preaching in Bengal so many villages. So, devotees the need for preaching in sleeping bag, mosquito tent, or mosquito tent, less light. If you have, you are living your from here in your country, I have heard that all Chinese devotees leaving tomorrow early in the morning. So if they donate for preaching, it will be very help for the devotees. So whoever want to donate the sleeping bag, mosquito net, mosquito tent, dust bag, etc., they can contact with, my, contact with me or Jiva Prabhu. One more announcement. Our, and here are the harmonies on the way. It arrives here about 8 p.m. So tomorrow our morning class, today we will show the harmonies and tomorrow anyone can get from our group table or in the morning. It will 8 p.m. arrive, tomorrow it will come in the book table. So thank you, sir. Uh, one quick announcement, we've handed out these forms for the Seva Group's website to all the devotees. We're still waiting the devotees to hand back their forms. So please, if you completed them, or please complete them quickly and hand them to Madhavananda Prabhu. Raise your hand. Madhavananda Prabhu, he's waiting for you to hand in those forms. Thank you. Hare Krishna. And also at the book table. Hare Krishna. It's a matter of great pride for the entire Vaishnava community that our great Acharya, Sakhu Kamadar Maharaj, <coughs> has got the tributes from all the Nobel laureates in the field of physics, chemistry, medicine, and uh, peace uh, recently in the Journal of Sadhguru. And Gurudev is very happy and uh, he wants us to propagate his mission. And for that purpose, we have started a similar organization in our uh, group called ISRO, International Scientific Spiritual Research Organization. We had the first meeting of science and spirituality yesterday. And there was an overwhelming response uh, from 50 devotees who had attended. And on their request, we will have another meeting.